Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And today we're going to find out if you can daily drive a regular cab truck. So, there she is. Let's uh, find out. Inside my truck, you can see that I have 50,809 miles. I've had this truck for a little over two years now. I've put only 14,000 miles on the truck and I've been daily driving it pretty much the whole time. Uh, I have a motorcycle as well, so that's why I don't have that many miles on my truck. I pretty much try to drive my motorcycle anytime I can, but for inside here, storage wise, these glove compartments are actually really nice. They offer a decent bit of stores that you can lock. So if you have, a, if you carry a gun or if you want to put um, your phone or any camera, anything, anything of value you want to actually lock inside your truck, that's locked. That's actually really cool. I like that feature. Other than that, you just have this center console here. I pretty much just throw all my junk in here, receipts gloves just little stuff behind the seats there's only about a foot of room um, if you you could put a speaker if you really wanted to like a 10 inch subwoofer uh, there's probably enough room for one behind each seat if you had a custom box made I just haven't done it because I'm this is just a work truck I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep it other than that I don't have too many complaints about the interior. I would like a little bit more room. Like if these calves were just maybe six inches longer uh, and I could, you know, rest my seat back a little bit more, that would be great. Because I have about four inches of knee room where my seat is right now and I'm pretty comfortable where I'm at. But for long road trips, I would like my legs to be a little bit straighter and I could put my seat back a little more and I can't do that. So for really long road trips, um, the amount of room, maybe not the greatest, but other than that, I would just say get out every couple hours and stretch your legs and you'll be fine. For the interior, that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to these uh, regular cab trucks. You know, you have just the sun visor, um, little uh, sunglass holder here. Uh, not a whole lot pretty basic in here and that's how I like it really I don't like a whole uh, bunch of electronics stuff that can break that's why I got the wind down windows and I'm 6'4 so I can reach that without any problem same on my side just one less thing that can go wrong and let's uh, go down to the gas station all right back from uh, get-go gas station got my Red Bull we're gonna see what makes uh, daily driving this truck possible let's check it out and that would be these boxes you can see here on this side that right there this I, I kind of just generically sprayed some stuff in here then it rained but the inside was a mess I got these boxes for free and I just they were a mess when I got them so I decided to make the outside look pretty and then use whatever I have left to just brush on the inside just to I don't know I don't know but it does look better believe it or not I can, and I can just go over this with some more coats of uh, Rust-Oleum bed liner if I actually cared about making the inside look pretty but I, I really don't it just serves a purpose but you can see here 
Got this little bag. Some cleaning supplies on this side. A couple towels, ice scraper, snow scraper. Uh, lots of room. I pretty much just keep this side open for storage. And the other side, I'll show you. Finally cleaned my truck too. So, there you go guys. Clean it for you. Over on this side, I have some more towels, a tire pump, there's a voltmeter in there, I believe that's what it is. Yeah, there's a voltmeter, a tire, air, air pump. Or somewhere I think so I charge out like once a year underneath here some wrenches another towel throw that up there interior trim wire cutter uh, small hammer wrenches screwdriver some tape a bunch of just random poles I have in my truck more tape, some sockets, um, these are little ladder holders that go on top of my rack, and there's a tow rope here, jack, and some jumper cables. I keep pretty much all my tools on this side, keep the other side freed up for storage, works out pretty well for me. Other than these boxes, this uh, DZ back rack actually helps a lot for um, things you have to move on a daily basic basis, like furniture, chairs, tables, whatever. has a lot of access points so you can tie down to it. Like just the other day I moved the chair, put it all the way up against there, and then used one bungee to just uh, strap it right to there. And it works really well helps a lot with moving things and even with these boxes when you're moving things it kind of makes the bed a little bit higher and can make some things that you uh, haul a little more secure that's pretty much everything for the outside and uh, again guys without these boxes daily driving a regular cab, tr cab truck would be a lot harder these boxes help a lot even if you had one of the regular box fitter the boxes that go across the back instead of the side even if you had one of those that would help a lot but I love these side boxes and these are the long ones that fit in a foot bed so you have a lot of room in them love them well that's pretty much it guys now you know if you're gonna buy a regular cab truck to uh, drive it on a daily basis you're going to need some type of boxes or external storage to make your life a lot easier. As, as I showed you guys, those boxes really, really help me a lot. I love them. Use them a lot. Use them every day. Anything I buy at you know, a store like Lowe's or Walmart, wherever, that I don't want to just throw in the bed, I can put in there and it's secure, waterproof. You know, it helps a lot. So... That's it guys, hope this video helped, if it did, please like and subscribe, uh, stay tuned for my next video, and uh, leave a comment for any suggestions, thanks, bye.